guys, this is Faye with Just Do That Beauty, and today I'm going to show you my ELF haul. ELF stands for Eyes Lips Face. This is a company that sells very affordable cosmetics. A lot of them are really good, and you'd be surprised at the quality because everything is so cheap, it's kind of unbelievable. Everything is a dollar, three dollars, or you can get kits and palettes for a little bit more. You can find some of these at Target, but the selection is very limited, so do check out the website. They have three lines. They have the regular line, the mineral line, and, um, and the studio line. So let's get started. I'm going to show you these two face products first. They look the same, but one is an all-over cover stick and one is an all-over color stick. The all-over cover stick is a good um, on-the-go product because you can use it as foundation or as um, concealer also. I do not recommend using this all over your face though because um, it's a little bit heavy. The coverage is build buildable. It's light to medium. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to get a full coverage out of it because then there will be so many layers it just wouldn't look good. It will be obvious that you are wearing um, makeup. And the next one, well, the second one was the Spotlight. The Spotlight All Over Color Stick it is a dupe for the NARS Albatross Multiple for about $30 less. It's right here. It's just a light shimmer. So what I do with that is just on my cheeks and then blend, blend, blend to give it a little glow. If you want to broaden your uh, forehead a little bit, put a little bit near your hairline at your temple and blend it really well and it looks very natural. One thing I want to mention about cream products like these use it before your setting powder. If you put this over powder, um, it tends to look cakey. Anytime you do that with creamy products, you risk, you run the risk of looking cakey. Uh, next is this concealer pencil with blending brush. Notice that the cap has a pencil sharpener built in. That's really cool. The brush is really nice too. It's soft but firm. That's another thing. ELF makes really great brushes. I've got a whole bunch too but I think I'll have to do a second video just for the brushes. And a few products that I might have missed here. Because <laughs> I'm telling you now I spent $40 on a haul and um, that was a lot of things. I uh, Back to the concealer, I don't recommend getting this concealer because when you put it on and blend it, it disappears. It has like no coverage. But I use this every single day now. And that's because it looks great in my waterline. I have it on right now too, I don't know if you can tell. I'll post all the pictures and swatches on my blog too. So yeah, if you're looking for the um, perfect waterline eyeliner, try that out. I know it's not white, but I think the flesh color looks so much better than the white. If somebody's wearing a white eyeliner, I can spot it a mile away because it looks a little bit artificial. And you can also see that on my hand right here. It's just see um, a little bit lighter than my skin color, so it works perfectly for me. But really, I think it works for everyone because that area, you know, that waterline on everyone is basically a you know a light flesh color like that. Next. I have this facial whip. It's the shimmering facial whip. I got this in toasted. 
because I think it got the best reviews on um, MakeupBeauty.com, MakeupAlley.com. But I found that the only way I can use this is as a lid color and a little bit, you know, on the center of my lips because it's too dark for me as a blush and I don't want like a shimmering contour color. Although if you have darker skin tones, you can use this a uh, as a highlighter or a blush also. And you can see that right here next to the concealer. It's a very pretty uh, taupey brown shimmer. Next I have this eyebrow kit. Um, but I haven't used it yet because lately I've been growing out my eyebrows so that I can do a complete reshaping of it soon. I'll let you know how that goes in a future review. But here's here it is right there. Yeah, it's just a dark brown color. There's as I was showing you, there was two colors in here, right? One acts more like a primer, the lighter color. And one is more of a powder, wax powder, wax powder. <laughs> so that way, um, your brows will grab onto that color. But right now, like I said, I'm not using it because my brows are fairly thick. What I do use on my eyebrows every day now is this Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Mascara. Both ends are the same product, but I love it anyways, but, and I don't think it needs to be different. It's just the brush is different. This side is a little bit angled, it's for the eyebrows. And the other side is just like a normal basic mascara. For the mascara, I use it before I curl my eyelashes, you know. Uh, I'll put it on, let it dry a little bit, but not completely dry, and then curl my eyelashes, and it'll hold the curl almost through the entire day. If you're on the go, you know, it's a great natural look. Um, next I have the eye transformers. I love this thing. I've tried it with various eyeshadows, but I think it looks the best with black. So it's this swatch right here, the black with the four colors. And that's the four colors in the palette. It looks like nothing in the palette, but once you put it over a color, it really shows. I did it with black because you can definitely see that um, one is like looks like purple and one looks green, you know, one looks golden, one looks blue. It's awesome. <laughs> if you feel like you're lazy and you want to just do, um, you know, you can just do like a quick uh, smoky eye, you know, put black all over your lid, blend it out, and then a little bit of the transformer, you know, and in the, in the corner of your eye to the middle of your eye, and it looks amazing. You can also do, you know, the dark color um, all over your lid, and then a little bit of the transformer where the crease is. It looks really good that way too. Next I have the Mineral Eyeshadows. I got them in Sweet, Temptress, and Glorious. It's a kit so it also came with brushes and a pencil. I hate, hate, hate the pencil. The pencil is supposed to be black but it comes out like a charcoal gray. It's right here. That's the pencil. Don't get the pencil. The only thing I like is the cap. I think I'm going to steal it off of that and put it on another pencil I like. And these are their colors right there, these three. So Sweet, Temptress, and Glamorous. Glamorous being the darkest. Sweet is a very shimmering pink. I'll post swatches on the blog so you can see better. Thanks for watching!